We're going to see the animation and then we can all have a conversation about it. Thank you all for coming. You have a megaphone by chance? No, we don't have. Okay, we will start this. All right, you. stand in the center here. Wait. Maybe closer to the other people here. Yeah. So, <sighs> Marcus, Carlos, give me a sign. All good, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, dear Metanauts, welcome to the third edition of X Hour, the virtual conference experience brought to you by Immersive X and Innovation Bridge Europe. It's 1 p.m. in Austin, Texas, and for those of you watching on a screen, we are streaming live from the South by Southwest Festival and from virtual reality. Big shout out to Carlos Austin and John Harvey, who are doing an incredible job of engaging people who don't have a VR headset. First part of today's session is kind of special because it shows us the power of experiences in virtual reality. In virtual reality, we can see things that allow us to take a different perspective and change the way we see the world. I don't want to spoil anything, but we're about to experience something usually reserved for astronauts. A simulated view of if our I planet Earth planet, from space. I would always see Start it just, just as a whole. Stop. That's the author Frank White, who is with us today, which, which makes us proud, describes this profound and life-changing experience in this book, The Overview Effect, published in 1987. Two of the most brilliant people I got to know in the metaverse yet, Shushu and Nico Lang, with the support of TRIP, have made in their mission to bring this effect of life in virtual reality. To show Nico, the stage is yours. Together, together. Hello, everybody. Listen, we had a plan to make an introduction, but we decided right away to start the animation. So please look over there, and this is the animation. We can talk after this. That view of the Earth from space and in space, that's our true situation. We're on a natural spaceship. That natural spaceship actually is moving through the universe at a high rate of speed. How is it possible that evolution has brought humanity over billions of years of evolution to the brink of being a spacefaring species? Is there something we have to offer to this larger whole system? For a long time, we've treated the Earth as something to exploit. Now, we're realizing that if we keep taking, 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 we're not going to survive. We have to give. We have to be in balance with the Earth. And as we move outward into the solar ecosystem, we must keep our purpose in mind. And we need to think of it beyond just what we can get out of it. When we're trying to resolve conflict, when we're trying to think through how to manage an issue, seeing the whole, seeing it from a distance, might help us find common ground. Ultimately, what's important is our evolution and advancement, whether it's as a family, as a city, as a country, or as a world. Five hundred years from now, I want my descendants to look back and say, they did it right, no regrets.
Sonia. and look at our life and understand how precious is the planet where we are. I am Shushu. I'm a theater director, VR artist, also graphic designer. I collaborate with wonderful people that I met in VR, in virtual reality. My closest friend is Nico, a master of um, 3D art, uh, special uh, shaders, you call it, the complex visuals, wonderful things, um, and also using uh, AI, um, artificial intelligence. Uh, there's also Tom Nico here, great, great, great friend from a while ago when we met in, in, in All Space VR, a platform by Microsoft that was shut down. Uh, Thomas, also our dearest friend, actually brought us together here to celebrate this this moment and and to create a community that, that, that can bring new things into this world. Um, I want to invite our friend Tom Nichols to say a few words about this experience, about this story. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that, Shushu. Um, I have the task today of representing uh, Frank White, who was trying to make it but had a technical trouble. I won't elaborate on, but uh, Frank has been uh, one of my best friends for over 50 years. I was with him in the 1970s and 1980s when he interviewed all of the people who had been into space at that time, Russian and Americans. And the, this model of the overview effect is, uh, is research. It's qualitative research. He didn't go into it thinking there was an overview effect. He talked to people who had seen the Earth from space, and that model came out of their experience. When Frank came up with this idea, he did not foresee VR. He didn't foresee that we would be able to have this kind of overview effect experience together without having to go into space, without having to be an astronaut. And back uh, at the beginning of when I would say VR took off in its latest iteration, back in 2020, uh, there was an overview effect meditation uh, that was helping people get through very, very tough times. Uh, and after a number of years of that first overview effect in VR, uh, my son, Jeremy Nickel, so I'm both representing Frank as a friend, uh, and my son, Jeremy Nickel, from Trip, worked with Shushu and Nico to make this version. There could be other versions, too. This is the best version that we have right now to have the overview experience in VR. And another thing I want to say about Frank is that when he had this insight, he said something that hasn't been picked up on, which he says, I wish the leaders of the world, when they're having their meetings, would meet in space. And the effect of where we meet, where we gather, where we relate to each other, the place has an effect. Now, it seems crazy that world leaders would get into a spaceship, but now the idea of leaders around the world meeting in a virtual space and having this view of the whole Earth without national boundaries uh, there, uh, we're not quite there yet, but it becomes a lot more realizable. 
What we are doing is having meetings like this. Uh, we're bringing children. Uh, I recently brought 12 young women from Nairobi, Kenya in VR headsets into this overview effect experience. One of my goals is to have children from all around the world holding their hands together around that earth. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. You don't need a grant. All you need is someone who cares about VR and wants kids to expand their horizons and to be inspired, uh, particularly by the insights of Frank and then now the, the work of Nico and Shushu. Uh, use this. This is a facility that's here for us to use, to have this experience and to experience it with other people. Uh, I have led hundreds of meditations here and I hope I'll be doing more and I hope all of you will be able to do it too. So uh, thank you for this event, uh, the Thomas, and thank you, Shushu. Great, thank you very much, Tom. I suggest we just change our position so we have this beautiful uh, planet behind our back for the camera. So if you join me. have any guests from uh, uh, South by Southwest in Austin that actually actually now are sitting in Austin and and, and join VR just to to, to visit us yeah I know yeah right <laughs> two three. right yeah. welcome welcome it's 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 also a great uh, thing that we have in VR that we can you know during expos and fe and, and festival and convention you just meet in VR it's a great tool. I want to say thank you for uh, some great people that were brought a, a, a very large input into this um, into this work. Uh, it's actually an artwork, but it has an educational mass uh, value and message. Um, there was a whole team working with with uh, with us. Uh, initiated the the project. Uh, actually, Jeremy Jeremy Nickel, uh, produced by Trip and Nanea Reeves. Uh, this wonderful music that you hear in the background was created. Um, by David Starfire, a very talented artist, and can feel it. Uh, he's working together with Strip from many other projects, and we are just uh, proud and, and honored. And it was a great thing to work to work with you all, guys. And thank you very much. Thank you all for joining us. You may feel free to ask any question you wish, Nico. You is someone I want to praise a lot because Nico is the brain, the creative brain behind all those beautiful animated images on the planet and all the skies that you see oh. around. Uh, it's an enormous work to do in, in virtual reality to make it look good. This is our message uh, and we are happy that we could collaborate with everybody, including Frank, White. It's a great thing that we did and, and thank you very much. Nico, would you like to share an example of, of bringing the girls here? Yeah, yeah wonderful. Um, I have something on me, but not. Okay. So, Thomas? I'm, I'm here, I'm hearing you. Good. And you're in Austin, Texas, right? In the festival. In Austin, Texas, and with me are three people in the bar. Um, so, at least we are four um, joining this event on an on site location. And also there is um, Thomas here, who's also in Austin, so at least five people from the festival. And I guess right. we got an audience from all over the world. Thanks for coming and joining this um, experience. Thank you very much. We have special friends. I want to thank you also, Thomas, because what you're doing, you know, bringing all this community together and, and you know, showing, giving a chance to show the world what we do, because not so many people, I tell you the truth, even my closest friends, they have no idea what we do in VR. They think we are like, what are you doing there in your computer all the time? 
and and when and when you have people coming you know and and you can share this 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 beauty that you bring to the world that that makes us really really happy and and proud we have special yeah, to show maybe let me add there. let me add to yeah. this it's a little bit comparable to the overview effect there's such a thing like a vr effect you need to experience it to change your perspective on this subject a lot of people are talking about <laughs> yeah. the metaverse but they haven't experienced this vr effect something that um really would you what we'll have to do to somehow um get what it is all about that's true that's a very nice uh metaphor yeah Fair, look at how many friends we have. Fair is here, our dearest friend. Hello, Fair. <laughs> we know, you know, we we know Fair back then from where the first days when we started, you know, discovering virtual reality and build little cubes, you know, out of nothing. We didn't know too much, and look how we reach all these things. And Fair was one of our first friends in a platform called Alt Space VR. We all have experienced a tragedy in VR. It really yes. hurt us, you know, because we had our second life. We had our new friends and, and projects going on. And unfortunately, it had to be shut down for, for a better thing in the future. Uh, we understood that because Microsoft actually did support us and did a lot for us and we we loved and cherished the team and and we thank them for it uh, very much but it did hurt hurt all of us yeah it hurt a lot yeah. luckily you were able to somehow restore or save some of the work um yes. you have created and i also uh, at this point want to point you to the second part of this experience which will start in about five to ten minutes where we actually have the chance to experience something that these some of you have already been part of but there's also something completely new which we will experience yes today. Yes. yes the second part of uh, of our event in just a few minutes uh we will just uh wait a couple of minutes and also allow you to ask some questions to say a few words uh, but we are going to uh watch uh a very specific experience something that is actually a theater but it not it's not a usual theater played by actors it's played by monumental avatars and it's all programmed and it's the theater, theater of truth it's not some kind of uh, commercial joy and 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 a cirque it's something really deep it will require from you concentration and respect for what you're going to see uh, but i promise we will do our best uh, to touch your heart do you have anything to share with us guys You said yeah. we could ask any question. Like yes. no. How long did it take you for the overview effect? Each person for the amount of hours that each of you put into it. In all years combined. Well, yeah, something like this. Yeah, I mean there's also a lot of development time already spent into other projects that we, we use like the earth for example the shader and all that so it's it's really hard to say like how much time it actually is because we are working in vr all the time and um we actually already have a lot of stuff that we are reusing in projects okay. so when you when we would say like 150 mm -hmm. hours per person it's probably more if we actually add all the work uh that's that spent here <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's amazing. There, there, there's a few things. It's not just creating the visuals and animating everything. You also need to spend time to think and to invent the concept. How are you going to show it? What is going to be unique in your overview experience than other existing experiences? And I think what made it unique is of course, first of all, is the fact that it's in virtual reality, uh, compatible with 
Quest, Oculus Quest uses no other kind of mobile headsets, means that usually you would have a lower quality in, in these devices, but we have managed to optimize it and to bring a very high quality also for these devices. Uh, and of course, that Frank White, uh, space, space philosopher collaborating with, with astronauts, <laughs> with NASA, I think mm -hmm. 200 interviews that he did with astronauts. Uh, how could you imagine, you know, someone over there in, in, in the US? We are in Europe, by the way. I'm in Poland, Nico is in, uh, in uh, Germany, and it's very far away. There would be no chance at all in life that we could meet these wonderful people. And I think this is the value of VR. Truly, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I, uh, for, can I add something, Shushu? Yes. It, yeah. For, for for people who wonder about you know the the relationships that we form in VR, uh, there, there's someone here that that has been in this uh, showcase before. I mentioned earlier that uh, we have brought uh, young women um, from Nairobi, Kenya, to this overview effect, expanding their horizons that way. And one of our goals is for children to be meeting all around the world. And and Waiaki Wahinga, Africa VR, and Diana XR girls uh, are here representing that XR initiative in Africa. Africa, uh, trying to make a pan Africa VR presence. Um, anybody here who works with children, whether you're in Europe, whether you're in the Americas, uh, yeah, please, however you're doing it through Thomas, uh, through Kyushu, uh, through myself, or through Africa VR campus, just Google it. Getting kids to meet each other here at the Overview Effect will be an experience they will never forget, and it could change their life. It could be one of the most important things you do. So just put up your hand here, Paul. Uh, Paul is one of my best friends now. I only know him in VR, but I wake up in the morning and I think about him like he's a, a person in my life. So anyway, that's just my little testimony to the, the value and the importance of these kind of connections. Let's greet him. He's here. Africa VR. Hello, Paul, my friend. <laughs> Hello. 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 Good to see you. <laughs> Great to see you. Come over here with us. Good to see you. Can you join us? Yes. So, um, there's, there's something uh, maybe I can add uh, for me. It's a comment. And even without uh, mentioning even the girls, uh, the students whom we've brought to this space, I cannot tell you the power of the overview effect and what it had on you know on me as a human being and sometimes we've stood here with people i don't know people i've never met and we've held our hands around this globe and the last one that i did uh, tom if you remember these were executives of a, of a, of a big organization and some of them cried tears right here as they were attached to the core and they were reminded of the fragility of our human nature and so for me, I've always told Shushu is that he's not human since I met him back. <laughs> I, 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 there's something, there's something spiritually, you know, big inside your mind and at Nico's mind for you to be able to conjure something like this and bring it together in a way that, that, you know, reacts to the human soul. And so for me, wow. it's, it's been an amazing journey with, with, with your creations. Afterlife. <laughs> Uh, I wish everybody would, would experience all these things and you know very well that uh, when Aspace VR was shut down I wrote something uh, you know dedicating it to the pain that I would have imagined that you felt then it, it, it's an amazing thing to be here standing here as human beings as part of the universe from across the world in all our digital form and to experience this together it's just something that really makes me really play. Thank you so much for giving us this moment. Beautiful world. I wish we could meet someday in the real life and just come to you, to Africa, and we meet. It would be wonderful. You're a precious man. I mean, everything that uh, Paul is doing is, is just, uh, it's just uh, extraordinary how, how, how much this person cares and wants to give 
to, to other, to the society, uh, to see them growing in front of him with a better hope for a better uh, future. It's absolutely beautiful. We share some photos sometimes and we see the little kids with VR in Africa <laughs> and with a headset and I say, here in Poland, in, 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 uh, in Europe, m most of the people don't even know what it is and they have it on their head already. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. How about moving on to the second part of today's yes. experience? Of course, we can do it now. Uh, do we do it with a portal or we create an instance, a group instance? I uh, will create a group instance, but also will uh, drop a portal in here. If okay. Portal. All right. Okay, so what we could do is we can we can just go through the world and then we can have just three, four minutes, uh, you know, a break. Uh, if anybody needs some, a short break and then we will start, all right? Uh, we will start at, uh, oh, actually in three minutes, yeah. But if you need a break, we can, no. we can just take our time. Um, Shushu, you may need to uh, create an instance because I don't have the world in my recent words. Uh, you have it in Discord. The link. Oh, I'm on PC VR. Uh, quest, uh, I'm not I, I on uh, PC VR. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so the only thing I can do, I'm going to open a portal, all right? I mean, but it's not going to yeah. be uh, a group yeah. one instance, right? Yes. Uh, oh, no, wait, don't, don't, don't wait, open wait, a portal here. People will jump into no, it. No, no, wait, wait, wait. People will jump into it. Yeah, yes. don't, don't do it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I just got to turn it on. Can I get out of there? Hi, Nico. Hello. Uh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Don't do it. Hello. I hope you enjoyed it. No? Oh. Hi, Fee. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah it's doing it. I think I need to get taller. I don't know. Can I do it? It has to be someone, it has to be someone who has the rights. Do you need to do it? I don't have the rights to do it. Hey, uh, yeah, can you uh, create a uh, portal uh, somewhere? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing it. Is this a new account? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the button, but account you have to like, put yeah. the link. It's, it's a private word. It's been splash mango over here. So you will not be yeah. able to create yeah, one if you don't go on the link. Uh, you have to go to the website. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I guess we just haven't run into you. Yeah, but I'm just going to the link. We got some nice outfits. Yeah, I'm on Quest ER and not on Quest. Thank you. Okay, that's good. It's only first from there. Yeah. Yeah. The only way to do it. Yeah. 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 So, um, you put, you, you put yourself you just went and walked away the other day at the party. Pretty much, yeah. I was like, hi, hi, a couple of times. And you were just like, I don't want to It was, um, I don't know if you saw the um, I know. video yeah. at all, but there was one moment where I did. the camera was like, just panning yeah, over you. People are all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. I think your audio link was working, so it sort of looked like you were alive. I think like it almost looked like you were breathing. Events this week, and I sent It was very cool. I think it was just the light. Response back. So I never saw on your um, photo. Oh, wow! Right. Uh, they, they have. Uh, what, what was the name of the uh, the uh, overall event? Um, I know Les was part of it. Yeah, Les was part of it. You were part of it, and several others. Yeah, it was um, basically a dance party, and with uh, audio reactor in the background, and uh, audio connection. We put it together like three or four weeks, and it was so hard. I will never do it again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ich kann es noch nicht sehen. Also Portal müsste jetzt funktionieren. Also mach mal Portal, ja. Gehen wir direkt in den Instanzen sehe ich nur die Oberwirkflecken. Ich sehe noch keine dann. I'm gonna do it, it's with Conway too. I see the. Yeah, the Atman of the. 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 All right, all right. That's but what that was, some, I was that'll be something. Forward, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'd like to say I think it's going to be in April, but they, yeah, uh, if I said that, then it'll end up being May. You know, so who knows? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> like we said, they're very slow, very slow. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, they, they got money so they can afford to. So anyway. <laughs> all right. So for us, we did the event yesterday. We did yeah. it in um, Remio, yeah, we did it yes. in Remio, and okay. because um, I think uh, Diana and I, we are preparing them to host their first event in Banta, in quite a few. I'm going to be shaking Shane for one headset, because he's having okay. a quest to give, so I'm going to shake him just for once, not, not for two, just sure. for one. <laughs> well. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna shake him for one, baby. Yeah, shake him for one. Well, <laughs> well, I I traveled with my headset, and it made me realize I could when I come to Africa, I could probably just bring two or three women and just leave them there too. So, you know, that's yes. a part of my plan too. Yeah, that would be okay. That that would be my yeah. plan. Um, yeah. What we are doing right now is I told you we are adding more students so that they can speak. Yeah. So, um, yeah. welcome. Yeah, this is. If everybody could choose one of those two avatars, this would be great. Um, as this is required uh, for the audience. I don't have a PC. Okay. You don't need a PC. I don't know how to do this. It says PC and click. Avatar should be optimized. You just click on it. Just click on it. There we go. Oh, oh, Again. okay. You, you, you could also oh, look, everyone looks smart and sophisticated Avatar. over here. Oh. I feel like I'm going to stay in my suit. Oh, I feel like okay. this. But you guys look very professional. <laughs> I do like the banana, though. Who's the banana? So cute. Uh, I sent you a DM, by the way, Shane. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Yes, she, those are the ones yeah, that no, exist. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Can you all hear me? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. yeah. All right, everybody. We are here in the anatomical theater. You're welcome to join me. Uh, but please first go in the spawn area and t choose yourself an avatar. We want all of you to take part in this show and to become doctors and nurses. So it's just in the spawn area. You can follow me. He's here behind you, right? You can see here some pedestal with avatars and all you need to do is to click on them because we want to take care about the performance 
uh, for Quest users, but also that it's a part of the show. It's yeah. it's a kind of a medical show, and we would like you all to be doctors and nurses. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you were. Okay. Everyone looks so You're much nervous. more and more yeah. professional now. Uh, get closer a little bit and click the, the you will see a trigger. trigger. Oh, we're down Hello. Okay. I'll sit beside Robert. Okay. It was All right, everyone. We have a complete animation to show you. An example of a, of a theater. A theater as we see it in VR. But before that, I want to say, I want to give uh, Thomas the chance to say a few words of introduction. Yeah, welcome to the second half of today's session, Art and Science in the Metaverse, which will be more about the art part. The mastermind behind that, what we are about to experience, I met at an event in Allspace VR. At the time, I was leading a theater workshop and doing exercises with the participants to prepare actors for their performances. One of the participants caught my eye because he put a great deal of passion into his acting. He later told me that his vision was to create a place for the fine arts in the metaverse. Thanks to his great passion and which enormous dedication, he, the great support of Nico Lang, managed to complete this place just in time for our X hour today. <laughs> this Theatrum Anatomicum is the perfect place to attend NIMS, a theater experience created by Shushu, that's the name of the mastermind, the other mastermind, Nico Lang, the king of shaders. And this experience was awarded Fun Festival 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, dear Medanauts, curtain up for Shushu and Nico. Yay. Oh. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Look at this. <laughs> Guys, this is really a dream coming through. Imagine you have this vision in your head. You are trying to do it in the real world for many, many years. I'm talking about more than 20 years. And it's just not going. Nobody gives the chance. Nobody believes that it's possible. And then you enter VR and you just do it. And, 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 and this is a dream to see all of you standing here in the anatomical theater. That's something, because as a theater director and theater artist, I decided to immerse myself in VR and found out that this, this uh, medium is just incredible for theater because it gives you, it does give you the chance to create a metaphysical space out of, in, inside this, this digital cyber world. And we had a vision. I met people in VR, the most talented people that I ever met also in, in, in the real uh, world. This is Nico. Uh, uh, it's, 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 a, it's an example of uh, a duet, of a collaboration of artists who don't create out of ego, who understand that the collaboration gives a better chance to, to bring some things that you could not do it alone. And the vision was to create a place called Viarium, like Colosseum, like Theatrum, Viarium. And the Viarium was based on a real space that is called Gustavianum. It's an anatomical theater in Sweden in Uppsala. And I met Nico and we did all these works together every few times. And we put another scene, another scenery, because we are talking about a big production, like like a 3D Hollywood production or something like that. It's it's uh, something you need to work a lot on, on. And we just did one scene in the beginning in All Space VR, and when we won the award, the Discovery Award in the Raindance Immersive Festival, 
just one year later, we got the uh, Cannes Film Festival Award, uh, uh, which is something very exclusive and we're very proud of. And what we want to show you today is First of all, you can see all this first place at the first time. You are the first people who can ever see it. Uh, but we are going also to activate an animation. And you're going to find out more about this show. And we will be talking about it during the animation. Uh, Nico here uh, was, was a, a big, big part of this project. And so all this project, how it's coming along. And he knows that we are only in the beginning, right, Nico? Yeah, so it's it's just every little thing it takes weeks to do, or even months. Uh, uh, so, theater, not with actors, but with dolls, art dolls, animated, programmed, automated art, art dolls, what we call actroids. Actor and Android Actroids. This is a whole new reincarnation of theater. Um, the space is very unique. It's a sacral space. It's not a space of joy. It's not a space of seeing some amusing scene. It's a space where people confront death and truth. And the truth. The anatomical theater was a bizarre phenomena in the history of theater. Starting from the 17th century, the first surgeries, the first autopsy surgeries on dead bodies, vivisections and, and uh, sorry? And in this space, People actually were willing to pay a big amount of money just to participate in this operation and to watch this body, to confront death for the first time. And they went really bizarre thing. They made a whole show around it with characters of the devils and things like that. It was a really macabre thing. Theatrum Anatomicum, the anatomical theater. This is the base of our experience. This is where we meet the main character in a show that we call Nymphs. I'm going to start one uh, scenery here. I'm going to turn on the light here. And you're going to see our stage. Uh, turn off earmuff mode, by the way, Shane. Nicole, go to the other side. Speaker. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Make sure your word volume is at a very high level, because there's a lot of sound here. Maybe I'll do that again, also. I don't know if any of you have ever been in on uh, the stage, on a big theater at night. When everything is closed, when the show is over, when the stage is empty and dark, there's a few parts of decoration from the show, some spotlights. Something there is alive. The stage is an uh, endless space of secrets, of magic, of metaphysics. Some call it the other side. Something that we go through and we experience some kind of transcendental thing. We learn something, we understand something, we go there and we go out differently. And this is our stage. The whole theater starts as a lecture anatomical lecture about a dead body, a corp. And that's how we start to say, to tell the history, what happened to this girl. And it's about nymphs. We call it nymphs. It's an original play. It's about women who died because of love. By drowning. 
in this lethal underwater dream they become creatures like from a fairy tale from legends this is their reincarnation they become nymphs we have the little mermaid that if you recall if you remember the legend she jumps into the water and sing she actually dies you remember probably Ophelia from Hamlet she died by drowning canonical characters that's what we're gonna have here not a linear story like in a movie although it is cinematic but visuals symbols the power of sound and light as if it would be have a construction of a myth this doll over there this giant marionette mannequin she has a name her name is necro ophelia giant marionette every single character every single element in this theater is by itself a work of art it has its own life and she's crying and she's crying not only for herself but for all those characters all those wonderful creatures that were able to love so much so deeply that it was just too much and then there's no way back by going to the other side and you can see that slowly her tears create some kind of a sea of tears that it expands and you all watch it from this theater from this anatomical theater take a while to just listen to this I don't see the marionette at all is it present? Do you all see the marionette? Can you be, please lift your hand, whoever sees it? Mm -hmm. You all see, right? I don't. I'm on desktop, so I can't raise my hand, but I can see the marionette. <laughs> yeah, so apparently, yeah. Rejoin? Yeah, please. Yes, if any one of you uh, then see the image, please rejoin. All right, now look at what's going on here. The sea expands and is, we are drowning. Oh my god, Nico! <laughs> this is going to take us to the next scene. Completely animated scene, some kind of a teaser of how this show is going to look like. Could put my microphone aside. I want you to stay silent and just Colliders are open.
the potential of, of VR, making things that are not possible actually in, in real life, expanding your imagination and to like a dream. It doesn't have to have a text, it can just say, tell a story. And we are very ambitious, we want to create more and more scenes. The show itself has a script, it's about 30 minutes. Uh, we will try in the future to develop more and more, and we will invite our community. Um, a few artists that are involved in this creation, because as I said, it's all about collaboration. So, it's Andy Wood, our precious friend, who always come and help at the last moment, or one month before even come earlier and say, what do you need, what do you need? And he created wonderful things for this world. Um, there's a good friend, Lutz Kolmdorfer, from, uh, from Germany, who had his input also in, in the audio and the sound design. We're very thankful. Uh, there's Venus SX here, uh, an activist in VR. She has a really beautiful uh, vision about uh, uh, communication and, and somatic experiences in VR and she is actually sponsoring this this process, this creative process, producing with us. All of you here, Thomas Zobach from Immersive X, who just brings gives us the stage, you know, because theater is nothing without the audience. And you, the fact that you are here is I do have to admit that I that I had tears in my eyes when I was watching you. And while I was watching this scene in VR with you, I was also watching the stream that Carlos Hiz is doing into YouTube and it's just beautiful. He has his own beautiful team here together with John and and they have like three cameras here and they're so professional they're choosing you know exactly what frame and directing it it's all beautiful what's going on here in VR thank you for all this community the pop of his sisters the pop of his sisters are artists who create fine art dolls um, from Russia uh, uh, from St. Petersburg incredible uh, extraordinary artwork uh, some of the dolls you saw in the pictures, in the, in the images around. Uh, um, and we will have more and more dolls here, 3D dolls, uh, that will actually be our actress. We'll take part in, in this show. And thank you everybody for joining this experience. I think you can grab the microphone if you wish to say anything. I'm gonna place it here. Oh, let me second. Oh, if you need a microphone. So, uh, welcome. So that wasn't synced, right? If you I saw on, like only. Uh, later on, later on, later on, I think. Yeah. If you Jonas are not synced. Uh, okay, sweetheart, I'll see you a little bit later. Okay. No, that should, that, but that should be synced. Maybe, I think there was a VR chat um, error, like, at, in the beginning. I also yeah, was, was like, thrown out. Uh, but but mm. when you look yeah. on late, like, it will start from the beginning. Yeah. There's all of the... I was thrown yeah. out as soon as the animation started. Yeah. I was booted, but it got... But it came me, back. me too. Me, me too. There was something going on with the VR chat. Thomas, so you're muted if you're saying something, if you would like to say anything. And so I only saw like the beginning and then it ended. <laughs> of, co of course, I just wanted to say thank you yeah. to Shu for this opportunity to share um, your artwork and thanks to Shu, thanks Nico. Yeah. To letting us experience um, this, and I hope that we will see um, uh, this this work being expanded 
And if there is something we can do to support you, uh, let us know. Um, thanks for coming. Thank you. Dear audience, keep going with X hour tomorrow. We got two more sessions left. Um, and um, yeah, we'll hopefully you can still join. See you tomorrow when we got another um, piece of art um, adapted to virtual reality. Um, uh, and yeah, hopefully um, we'll see you there. Um, thanks, Shushu. Thanks, Nico. We did it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Can we see it again? Can we see it again? Thank you. You guys were incredible. I didn't I didn't see anything. I don't know about other people, but I just I didn't see. I'd like it stopped. Uh, only the water just starting to come across the floor. No, that's it. really? Okay, can I move? Now I can move. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, babe. I rejoined. I don't know how many I don't know how many people yeah, saw or had the same issue as me. I guess most of the mission was finished. Yeah, we have to do it for the next one. Yeah, we can play. We can just play. We can just play. And then we all look for the group in LA. I don't know how many other people saw it. Most people saw it, I guess. 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 Most people raising their hands. So it's just because I had to rejoin when I asked most people. Yeah, I got in at the same place. Cool. I don't know what's going on with the chat. Yeah, that was a good idea. Yeah, I was also out from the chat. Sometimes we have like these small issues with the VR chat API and like some people are just affected and then it's like. And you made the put it on the European server. I see. We've all been times I'm like the best. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You look beautiful. Yeah. 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 I feel I feel a little weird outside of outside of the usual avatar. Yeah. 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 Ich weiß nicht, wie man so ausgelöst ich hätte es mal Yeah. 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 Yeah.